So far, we've talked about the gradient or the slope of a distance time graph representing the speed of an object. But now, if we take a look at a velocity or a speed time graph, remember velocity is speed but in a certain direction, then the gradient of a velocity time graph represents acceleration. Acceleration. Of the object and it's measured in units of meters per second squared. If we take a look at this first section we see it's going up at a constant rate. Our velocity or speed is increasing at a constant rate. So that means we're accelerating at a constant rate. So that's accelerating at a constant rate. Now at the top of the graph here we see it's flat. So our velocity is remaining the same all the way along as time ticks on and so we're not accelerating we're just going along at a constant speed so this is a constant speed or constant velocity I should say constant velocity and here this last section as we go down here this means that our velocity is decreasing at quite a fast rate until we end up at zero meters per second in other words, this is a constant deceleration. This is a deceleration. I'm running out of room there. Let's put it here. Deceleration. Watch out for the spelling of deceleration. Only got one C in it compared to acceleration, which has got two. So there we are. The gradient of a velocity time graph represents acceleration. And it's measured in units of meters per second squared.